Hey everybody. So today I thought I'd do a walk around on my brand new 2021 Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. Very lightweight, um, very easy to drive. I've taken it home from the dealership. That's about it so far. It's a six speed transmission with the shifter on the left side. The bike weighs about 324 pounds, give or take. Uh, kind of interesting, the gas tank is in the rear. First bike I ever owned with that feature. I had them put these hand grips on. A lot of people don't have these, but it's gonna make it easy to move around, I feel. So that's why I had them put those on. I told them to skip the passenger pegs. It did come with uh, passenger foot pegs, but I don't see me ever having a passenger on this bike. It's got very simple electronics. Um, it's got a speedometer. I'll turn it on for you here. So on the left, right here, that's the speedometer. It tells you the time and you have mileage. Also you have a neutral indication light. Um, that's just an oil light here, low oil light. Over here, that's the ABS. Um, and you also, it's not on at this point, but you do have a low fuel lamp that comes on. And I think it's right over here somewhere. And that's about it. Just uh, four or five simple features. Trying to keep it light. On this ABS, apparently you have to roll the bike forward. Um, I think it said in the manual you have to hit three miles per hour and then you can shut it off. So we'll see how that works in the future. Um, and it's the same with the traction control. You have to roll the bike and I believe it's you have to, the, the speedometer has to hit three miles per hour before you can actually shut it off. The traction control right here has got two settings, one and two. And from what I've read, number one is a little bit less aggressive throttle response. Number two is a little bit more throttle response. Apparently it has nothing to do with uh, power. It's more of the power delivery. It's got Bremo brakes, front and rear, four piston, 320 millimeter Bremo brakes in the front, very powerful. Um, same in the back, very high quality brakes. So if I come around to this side of the bike, right under the seat here, I'd like to show you. There's a latch. If you can see, I'm gonna put my finger on it right here, a little plastic loopy type of latch right there. And what that does is when you pull it, okay, I'm gonna scan back. So when you pull that latch, that unlocks the seat. There's a latch in the back of the seat right here. It unlocks, but then right here on both sides, there's a little kind of a pop little. And then let that relatch. So you pull that and there you go. Seat comes right off. It's your battery right here, air box. And I'll show you that latch. You can see the latch. That's how that works. And if you look here, it gives you fork settings right under the seat, right here. So that's fork settings um, and shock settings for comfort mode, standard, sport mode. So that's pretty neat. Put the seat back on, so pop that right in, reattach each button on the side and you are secure to go. Um, there is a catalytic converter inside the pipe and they claim it's pretty heavy but that's yet to be determined. Um, they also claim it runs pretty hot but again I don't I can't confirm that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up so you can see how it sounds. Sounds pretty mean to me. So thanks for watching everybody. See you on the next video.